So this is the Nike Mercurial Dream Speed 7, which not only I reckon looks really cool, but also has a rather cool story to tell. So what we'll do today is that I'll slap these on my feet and show you what they look like in action. And at the end, I'll also rank them up against all the previous MDS models. Oh, and by the way, if you want to buy them right now, the link's right up there or in the description. That's coming down. If you are unfamiliar with the Mercurial Dream Speed concept, or MDS in short, it's basically Nike's playground for the Mercurial, where they let themselves be a bit more creative and experimental with the stories and the designs. And ever since the first MDS came about, it's basically been worn by some of the fastest and most spectacular offensive players in the world. Kylian Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., CR7, Bruno Fernandes, Sam Kerr, Ada Hegerberg, Ansu Fati, Leroy Sané, but there will also be some new faces this time around. Ganacho, Alfonso Davies, Victor Osimhen, Marie Catoto, to name but a few. And of course also, there might be a couple of you guys out there who will wear the MDS 7. The future fastest players, most spectacular players in the world. Who knows? Anyways, the MDS 7 here is inspired by the perspective of the next generation of superstars. And you guessed it, it's you guys out there, the young bowlers out there, who every day is looking towards their role models on the pitch, playing at the highest level, and who uses that as inspiration to constantly strive to improve themselves, working hard, training every day to find that best version of themselves. And I can really want to play on the fact that role models are important, but it's also how football motivates those young bowlers, the future stars, to constantly go out there, work towards being better with dedication and enthusiasm to try and achieve that greatness. And I really like how they try to emphasize that Having dreams, striving to improve yourselves and finding that greatness isn't just for the elite. I mean, you can achieve greatness without going out there and winning the Champions League as long as you keep working to improve. So I think it's a cool story and I really like the design. I'm just having a hard time connecting the two. So you have all these pluses where I'm thinking that are the big pluses, the elite players, the role models, and then the little pluses are the future ballers, the kids, could be, but then what do the circles represent and what are the hollowed out pluses and you know, is there a meaning to the positioning of the... <laughs> I don't really know, I might need some help here in the comments and it might just be that I'm the only one who doesn't see the connection, but if I hadn't read the story before seeing the boots, I probably wouldn't really be able to connect the dots. With that said, I still think it looks cool. I like the color, I like the orange gradient and the MDS blocking here. But then again, you know, cool story, bro, but uh, yeah. You know. Is it only me? You, 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 you tell me. And as always, when it comes to the tech, these are identical to all the other materials in the current generation, meaning that you get a Superfly 9, you get a Vapor 15, and you also get them in both FG and AG Pro to use on artificial pitches. So that's pretty cool. But if you want to know more about the tech and how they feel and perform on the pitch, check out my full review in the card right up there. But I also promised that I would rank the MDS 7 up against the previous six generations of the Dream Speed. And of course, this is my opinion. You might not agree, but that's the beauty of me making the video. So, uh, yeah. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Now, in last place for me is the MDS 6. I mean, cool idea with the whole digital flower print, but I just never really took to that pale purple thing. So. Not, not my jam. Then I have the MDS-5, and I appreciate there's a cool, pretty, funky story in there with colors and designs that calm you, but maybe just a little bit too jazzy <laughs> for my taste. The MDS-2 is next. I really like the whole inspiration with the full spectrum of light, with Nike playing on the speed of light, but you know, I never came to fully love it. Very colorful, that one. Then for me, the first generation of the Dream Speed, very cool story and, and looks with the whole blueprint idea, but you know, it, it, it's solid. Then for me, I actually have the Mercurial Dream Speed 7. Cool colorway, lovely little details, but maybe also, you know, just a little bit on the safe side, so can't really hit those super highs for me. 
but maybe with some dedication and some hard work, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, in second place, we have the MDS-4. Lovely design, very unique with that little side swoosh and the inspiration from, you know, test flight vehicles, spacecraft, all that stuff, NASA-inspired MDS blocking, it, it's super cool. But still, that's not quite enough to beat number one for me, the MDS-3. The white background, the black pattern, you know, safari print with the little chevrons. There's a, a grid here representing the goal that after you've scored a goal, different tactical formations of winning teams, you know, chevrons showing speed. It just, it just all comes together in the full package. The best MDS for me so far. But the question is, do you agree? And what's your favorite? Well, as always, you should let me know in the comment section right down below. And then remember that if you want to cop the Dream Speed 7s, you can do so in the link that's literally right over there or in the description. And also, if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on. And then if you like to learn some new skills that you can pull off in your new MDS as well, um, there's a playlist that you can also check out right down there. And with those words, I'll be signing off. Peace.